introduction first line of defense in the human body are skin mucosa lining of git respiratory tract and urogenital tract second line of defense innate immune system non specific or natural defense mechanism cells macrophages neutrophils and nk cells third line of defense are adaptive immune system that is specific immune system cells of immune system are under the heading of lymphocytes which contains b lymphocytes t lymphocytes nk cells then second line supporting cells in which are included neutrophils eosinophils basophils and mast cells lymphatic tissues are a special variety of connective tissue mainly composed of lymphocytes and reticular connective tissue diffuse lymphatic tissue then nodular lymphatic tissue and lymphoid organs diffuse lymphatic tissue characterized by loose and random distribution of lymphocytes found throughout the body nodular lymphatic system tissue nodular lymphatic tissue localized aggregation of lymphocytes in the form of small masses called lymphoid follicles or lymphatic nodule mucosa associated lymphatic lymphoid system malt gall and blt bald structure of lymphoid follicles circumscribed non capsulated mass of densely packed lymphocytes primary nodules and secondary nodules in this primary nodules are b lymphocytes follicular dendritic cells in secondary nodules germinal center or mantle zone or that is called also corona thymus gland situated in the superior mediastinum of the thoracic cavity in front of the trachea present by birth 10 to 15 g in newborn and having two lobes left and right lobes of the thymus gland now thymus gland is endoderm of developed from endoderm of third pharyngeal pouch lymphoepithelial organ dense irregular connective tissue capsule is enclosing all this gland which sends septa inside which distribute the gland into lobes and lobules peripheral side is called as the cortex the inner side is called as medulla and usually contain the t lymphocytes cortex we can see in basophilic dye thymocyte cells are occupying approximately 95% area of the thymus gland epithelio reticular cells and macrophages are also present in the gland lymphoblast at situated at periphery lymphocytes and thymocytes are there then type 1 epithelio reticular cells are blood thymus barrier type 2 epithelio reticular cells are cyto reticulum and thymic nerve cells nerve cells type 3 epithelio reticular cells are cortico medullary barrier type then in medulla that is taking light basophilic dye few t lymphocytes are present in this area many epithelio reticular cells are present then type 4 epithelio reticular cells are cortico medullary barrier situated over there type 5 epithelio reticular cells are cyto reticulum type 6 epithelio reticular cells are thymic corpuscles that is also called as the hessel's corpuscles <clears throat> hessel corpuscles are isolated concentric aggregate of type 
epithelial reticular cells keratinized are calcified and interleukins blood thymus barrier we can see all around thymocytes are present then near to that are epithelial reticular cells and capillary endothelium is around the lumen of that one lymph node that is immunologic filters which filter the antigens cell debris wear and tear of the body and clears it from the body <clears throat> now structure of the lymph node lymph node is a bean shape which is enclosed into a capsule just below the capsule is called as subcapsular area and just in peripheral area is called as the cortex and then central part is called as the called as the medullary area there are many afferent openings around the convexity of the node which also contains a valve which is unidirectional in which lymph can come inside the lymph node but cannot go back these are unidirectional just like the valve of the tire of a car then after filtration and process they exit from the lymph node through the hilum which contains three type of vessels in which vein is going outside efferent artery is coming inside the node and efferent lymph vessels are carrying the carrying the lymph outside the lymph node so we can see there are multiple afferent channels at the periphery of the lymph node through which lymph can come inside the lymph node and then an exit time there is only single one through which the lymph after cleaning and filtration that can go outside the lymph node into the other part of the lymphatic channel also in this part we can see the blood capillaries blood capillaries around the lymphatic nodules we can see also see the trabecula which are present into the lymph node these are nothing but the extension of the capsule of the lymph node which sends septa inside which divide the node into the different lobes and lobules in the lymph nodes in histological slide we can see just below the capsule is subcapsular area which contains some subcapsular sinuses then come to the inner side there is a cortical region which contains blood vessels and other things then on the deep there is medulla in cortex contains the subcapsular sinuses and cortical sinuses and in the medullar medulla this contain the medullary sinuses cortex nodular cortex primary and secondary lymphatic nodules are there b lymphocytes and plasma cells are usually remain in this site of cortical region then paracortex which contains mostly t lymphocytes thymus dependent zone and high endothelial venules are present over there here in this diagram we can see capsule on outside then we can see lymphatic nodules in in circle dotted lines in the cortex and then we go to the deep we can see toward the cortex toward the medulla and in between these regions there are trabeculi which are again the extension of the capsule which are coming inside which encloses the certain part of the lymph node here in this diagram also we can see peripherally is situated cortex which contains the big type of the nodular nodule nodules and centrally laying the medulla which is taking the light dye medulla irregular anastomosing cords which form the medullary cords b lymphocytes and plasma cells are over here and medullary sinuses are also present in this region then in this slide we can see also vertical section outer covering is the capsule which is a connective tissue which sends septa inside the lymph node and peripheral part which takes the more dye basophilic that is called as cortical area then central which have the less dye which is called as the medullary